how can we lend crypto or borrow crypto on the Solana blockchain. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you MarginFi. The website is MarginFi.com. With this dApp, we can lend our crypto to earn an APY, an annual percentage yield, and we can also borrow crypto if we want to. As an example, let's say we had some Ethereum. It would be Ethereum on the Solana blockchain, or maybe some wrapped BTC, or some Sol. We could deposit it into the protocol, we would earn a small yield, and then we could go and borrow maybe some USDC. There are other dApps that do borrowing and lending, such as Solend. You can see the supply APR here and the borrow APR here. I'm going to show you margin lend for a couple of reasons. One thing about MarginFi is they're introducing margin points. This is July 3rd, 2023, and you might be watching this video in 2024. So things may not be the same, but basically you can accumulate points by using their product. One point per dollar per day if you lend, and if you borrow, it's four times as many points. They have a referral system as well. They have a leaderboard as well, and they have a medium article on points. To be honest, I have no idea what the points will be used for. I just think the UI is decent. Before we try it out though, I just want to show you UXD. This is a stablecoin like USDC or USDT. Only if we borrow this token called Tether or this one called USD coin, we can see it costs us more per year. And if we lend USDC or Tether, we don't get a crazy return, but we do get a decent return if we do UXD. UXD is a protocol that has a decentralized stablecoin stabilized by an asset liability management module. It's currently live on the Solana blockchain, as well as the Ethereum virtual network, Arbitrum, and it's coming soon to Optimism, which is also an Ethereum virtual network. They have a system like this where you can change your USDC and you can mint UXD. And if you change your UXD back to USDC, you get basically the same amount back except for a small swap fee. I'll lend a small amount with UXD, but in my honest opinion, USDC and USDT are the safest options. But let me just show you how this step works. Connect a wallet, Phantom. You can see I'm using the DeFi address and connect. Here we'll just sign a quick message. We'll approve. Let's do this. And now we can go and deposit some assets. Before I do though, I'm just gonna do a quick swap of USDC into UXD. Review and swap. Now if I click on max, it's gonna add all of the USD and then I can supply it. Or I can just type in an amount that I'd like to do. I'll do max for this tutorial, click supply. And this creates an account with a small amount of soul. Approve. And the next transaction is sending the UXD, prove. And we can see I've deposited some here. I'm also gonna do some SOL and some USDC very quickly. I can't deposit any SOL because the SOL deposits are at 100%. Let's do some USDC. We also can't provide M SOL, stake SOL, or be so. In fact, there's a lot of deposits here at the moment. Now let's go to borrow and we can see we've got funds in this token and this token because they both allow us to withdraw. From here, we can go and borrow another token like this one. I can borrow 0.044 ETH. I'm just gonna do 0.02 ETH just so I can show you. We'll borrow. We now have some ETH and we can see our health factor has decreased. My suggestion is to always keep this in the green. Keep it nice and healthy. We're supplying $166 worth of crypto. We're borrowing $37 worth of ETH, as we can see here. We can even borrow some SOL. But we can't borrow much SOL here, but we'll do it anyway. We'll go and we'll click max and borrow and approve. Now we can see our health factor is very dangerous. So if the price of SOL and ETH go up, what will happen is the USD and the USDC that we supplied will actually be sold to pay back the loans for SOL and ETH. So as I said before, try and keep the sale factor nice and safe, preferably in the green. At the moment with their point system, we're unable to supply SOL. In many countries, if you borrow against an asset, so we supply SOL, borrow USDC, withdraw the USDC to Binance or Coinbase, and then deposit US dollars into our bank account, quite often that's a non-taxable event. Of course, you'll need the advice of your accountant. So if you accumulate your soul and then you need a loan for real world expenses, you could potentially do that. But of course, as the ecosystem grows, you can use this in other ways as well. I've used Aave on Ethereum virtual networks to do loans before in the past. And so hopefully MarginFi and competitors grow as well. Now, when you're ready to pay back your loan, just scroll on down to the bottom and just repay down here. We'll click max and repay and you'll see not enough tokens. 
insufficient funds. That's because there's a small amount of interest that I have to pay back as well. So we'll jump in here. We'll do a small little swap to ETH, really small, like 0.04. Give us a little bit and we'll swap it. Now we'll try and repay it. Max and repay and approve. To be honest, I'm not really sure why that didn't work the first time, but that's okay. I'll also repay here, approve, and then I still have these stable coins earning a yield. You'll see with UXD, we're also earning UXP, which is the protocol token. And up here, this is where we can see it slowly ticking over. If we click on it, we can claim the token like that. You'll notice there's a small amount of sending soul. That's called rent reserve, and we do that once for each token. So if I do it now and approve, and then go and claim again, we don't have to do it a second time. However, this amount of UXP is so minimal, you of course don't want to claim it daily unless it's a larger amount. With UXP, you can go to Jupiter and swap it, or you can do what you like with it. And that's how you use Margin Lend. That's all for this DeFi tutorial. In our next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can start your Web3 identity. Jump into that video now, and let's get started. Stay curious, catch you in the next video.